And now we're going to the other side. Current's too strong to get back. Yep. So, welcome to the right side. It's a little trickier than the left side because it's more puzzle-based and less action-based. But a lot of the same stuff. <sighs> so right here, this is the main gimmick of the right side. We've got this tunnel labyrinth that we have to go through with dancing flames. Also, you can see these rubbish statues here. These are important. So you've got Rocket carrying two random things of crap, but a platypunk on top. I wonder what that means. So let's take some of the dancing flames back, shall we? Dark no, oh, we don't want to. Uh, I guess we kind of do. All right, climbing up here. We've got an imp. We've got imp on the bottom. Interesting. So an imp and then two random pieces of junk on the top. It's <laughs> Cheriboyne, brother of Bo. I have a message for you from the goddess. Collect the monsters that reflect the truth, then your path ahead will open. Good to know. So there are some other slimes we have to save in this area, like one over there. So up here, we've got a closed door and a broken statue. So we don't know what we need to put on our heads in order to open the way. However, there are three other statues on the underground that tell us each one of those things. So we have Imp on the bottom, Platy Punk on the top, and if we find the third statue, we'll be able to figure out what goes in the middle. In the middle, in the middle is going to be a mimic. So over here we have our mimic. We're gonna need that, and we also have a new slime. It's Gucci. What a great name. The plumber saying something strange. Something about the clue being red. I don't know what they were barking on about. Actually, I feel like he should have a Seinfeld voice instead. What is the deal with the plob? Actually, that's not really what Seinfeld sounds like. Whee! Yep, yep. So we gotta take the slimes back on the rail cart in order to open the way through. Two new letters! Cheriboyne! Dear brother of Bo, thanks for rescuing me. Bo's so lucky to have a kind, brave brother like you. I hope you're doing okay out there. I'll be thinking of you. And we get a recipe for strong medicine! All you need are medicinal herbs and some goddess statues. Goddess statues are kind of a pain in the butt to get your hands on, so that's a bit of a shame. And Gucci! It's easy to see your big daddy's son to think you drive the legendary Schliemann! I'm sending you something! A top dog like you should know what to do with it! We get a recipe for Metal King Swords. These are some of the most powerful swords in the game. They actually deal 20 more damage than the Buster Swords. But you need three Buster Swords and an Oracalcum in order to actually create them. So that's pretty expensive to create. For the most part, I just like sticking with the Buster Swords. Because they're easier to get your hands on. Alright. So we need Imp on the bottom, Mimic in the middle, and then Platy Punk on top. And that should be the secret, uh, not quite code, but that should be what we need in order to solve the statue puzzle. Sure enough! So that can be a pretty tricky puzzle to figure out when you're a uh, kid. It took me a while to figure it out. But it's a great puzzle, uh, looking back. Alright, so there's another tank battle over here. Ooh, it's candy! Perfect! Couldn't resist me, huh, sugar? Wanna get personal?
Gotta look after your appearance, honey. Me, I never go anywhere without my mirror. Whatever doity stuff people throw at me, are my, my mirror shield reflects it straight back. And it's the Shuman Tank here of Slovenia versus the Fortnite. Not too weak. They've got three Jinxters on their team. We're about to see how annoying Jinxters can be in the tank battles, because they can just teleport right into your tank at will. Take a look at the mirror shield, Slime. So, Candy's gimmick is that she has a lot of mirror shields. Actually, it looks like her Jinxters are just going to be... throwing stuff out of the cannons for now, so that's good. So I'm going to throw the Medicinal Orb down in that lower part. Um, no, you're not throwing that. B ah, doggone it, Blubba. You ruin everything. You just knocked our own ammo out of the sky, you goon. That's why I generally don't have chili peppers in my tank, because your party members can be really stupid and throw them out of the cannon when you have a lot of ammo in the air. And it looks like they're throwing their own party members out of the cannon. An unusual move. It just really... they were just so... They were having so much fun playing Disney's Toontown that they, they had to do it in real life. I'll leave the rest to them. Generally speaking, if there's a lot of ammo right next to the cannons, just leave it to Baron Blubba, because Blubba can quickly go over there, just pick up all the stuff, and then throw it out the cannon. Whereas if Blubba has to travel to the other rooms, he's going to take a while. <laughs> I love the Wordle, but doggone it, does he die quickly. Practically time to use another mirror shield. Actually, Candy doesn't have that many mirror shields. A tank with nothing but mirror shields could potentially be a really dangerous tank, or it could be a really terrible tank. There's really no leeway. <laughs> the cat got thrown out of the cannon and actually wound up in our tank. Get out of here. Oh, that's right, two tailors you can barely hold for any time at all. Get that out of your hand! No! Drop the chili pepper. I'm regretting taking the chili pepper. Mirror shield! Meow! You know what I'm actually going to do? Whee! If you saw on the top screen just how far I flung that chili pepper... <laughs> yeah, I don't want my party members going after it anymore. This isn't purdy, we're losing! Well, yeah, you, you guys are kind of sucking, that's part of it. Which one are you taking? He's taking the Buster Sword. Cool. At least the Walking Cor- or the- The Walking Corpse. Yeah, at least the Walking Corpse is pretty fast. Unlike Blubba. Whoa, the Mirror Shield just disintegrated! That's a Metal Kin Sword! They have Metal Kin Swords that I never realized. They've probably had them, and- hitting us with them in the past, and people were like, Artie, you're just not paying attention. I'm sorry, I focused on the bottom screen. Wait, what is the Chili Pepper doing back? I thought I threw you out of the window.
Actually, Joey Pepper would have really helped me out there. Whoops. Okay, you know what? No, Blubba. No. Oh, they picked up our Chili Peppers and then used them. Well, that's alright, because I'm about to destroy their tank. <laughs> Rocket's like, I hate spicy food. Get that out of there. No, no, we got no HP! Someone protect me! Oh yeah, the Fortnite has like one computer on every side and three barriers at the end. It's a terrible tank. Really awful. We won the round and we get a mirror shield. Oh boy, it's Wildfane! Unga, unga, you bad! Wildfane, break box! No help! But box strong, too strong for Wildfane! Wildfane, say, unga! Thank you, Wildfane, the caveman slime. Now I'm losing my temper, and my mirror's broken too. Oh boy, it's, it's a letter from our friends! Wildfane, no light crowds, but now I know different. Friends are important. Unga, what I say? Huh, Wildfane, thank you. And we get a recipe for Vulcan bullets. So I believe I showed off Vulcan pellets in the last episode at the shop. These are basically a more powerful version of Vulcan bullets, but they require free or of Vulcan pellets, but they require free Vulcan pellets and free iron arrows to make. Pretty expensive. Iron arrows can be tough to make. There's a better method for getting Vulcan bullets. And I'll go over that in the next episode. Or not. Possibly the next episode. The, f the last world is a reliable way of getting them. It's Weenie! I was so scared, Rocket. Some of the others are still trapped in tanks. Oh, please rescue everybody. It's like a miniature version of me. And by me, I mean Rocket. Psst! Thanks for helping me out today, Rocket. I feel a bit shy writing a letter, but it's nice and romantic, isn't it? I had to get one of the big slimes to write it for me because the pencil was too big. <laughs> and we get a shuriken! Shine in battle with the shooting star, you shake out a shuriken. Alright, so we've got another water part with currents all over the place, and once again a jinkster trying to beat us up. Not cool. So we can go to the upper left and go down here. Special delivery of dancing flames. Ooh, it's another cyborg slime, Sliminator. Thanks for helping me. It is great to see a friendly face. Robo slimes are interesting. Oh man. Okay, I'll get to demonstrate. So you got a dancing flame! They're made of fire! I'm cruel. Oh, it's Claudia! Unga ga ga! Rapids here strong, no? You check first which way water flows. Then press control pad to change speed and direction. Unga unga! Female caveman slime. So cave woman slime. So what you want to do... is hover, and then go up here. It can be tricky, but it's doable. Ouch! That was very rude of you. Ouch! You are extremely rude, Dancing Flame. Part of me feels bad about doing that, and part of me is like, no, he deserved it. So what you want to do is hop on the rail cart, and you'll be able to p go past that current. You can also have the cart push you, but it's less reliable. Oh, that poor slime! Go 
Go to town and I'm so sorry. Holy cow. Alright, Claudia. Claudia no like weak man. You more strong than Claudia fought Rocket. Claudia happy to be rescued just this once. Unga, be woman after all. Cool, blimey, we get our nuking club. I am not any good at words, but I want to want to thank you. You are great. We get a recipe for lightning staffs. Free devil's tail, free catnips. Once you can get some devil's tails, they're not that tricky to make. All right, dancing flames, you guys are being huge pills. Oh wait, hang on, there's no rail cart above here. We're about to enter the second half of the maze. Hey, Pixie. Holy water in there. So if you need to farm holy water, this could be a good place to do it, but you can also just buy it from the Boinberg shop, which I prefer. Treasure chests are very important to open. So yeah, this part we're basically going on top of the bridges for the whole maze. But there's also some other stuff like mimics. Hey, buddy. I don't really care about that mimic. Sorry. Hey, we got... Hey, yeah. Yeah, I want the Holy Crystal. I'd rather have the Holy Crystal than a treasure chest, for sure. I needed that health. Alright, there's a treasure chest down here. And we get a seed of life here. We only have two left after this one. Whip, 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 whip. Nice. So that's the maze, and this looks familiar. It's basically a mirror image of what's on the other side. Complete with teleporter. And much like the other side, there's a cracked wall we can break using a rock bomb. I hope that didn't freeze my OBS, I better check that. No, it did not, good. The excavating's going like a dream! It's Al Plateau. I got ammo coming out of my ears! Hmm? Who the heck are you? You better know my name. My name's Rocket. Holy macaroni! Have you been listening to in schmuck? You better not upset the excavating. When these bad boys I dug up hit that Schleeman of yours, it's gonna be bo bolognese! Three janksters in the war chest. This time I believe they're gonna start warping into my tank. With this much ammo, that sucker's in the bag! You have no more ammo than I do, you simply ha might, you might have better ammo than I do. But I'm smarter than you! <laughs> You're doing a great job firing your commander out of the cannon. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I love throwing the chili pepper out the window, even though it's probably not a very good idea. Because that means the enemies can get it very easily. Also, holy cow! Jinxter's not warping in my tank! Oh, so that's a level 3 iron ball that's coming at us! Blubba, you better knock that out of the sky. Oh, cool, cool. Iron shield, we're good. They've got gold bars they're throwing at us, and they're like, this is in the bed! Gold bars are very expensive and useful for alchemy, but they are not good as ammo at all. The ammo! Shoot out more ammo, you boobs! <laughs> wow. 
He called me a boob? I would never call someone a boob. He's a boob. Look. <laughs> I can't believe I just courted Horton here, so who there? But that was kind of a funny movie, admittedly. Also, completely different from the book. Holy cow, I read the book after watching the movie, and I'm like, wow. Way different. The mo <laughs> also, that movie completely 100% shaped my view of anime, because they have like a parody anime scene, but it's also completely 100% accurate. Where it's like, Got to go to the top of my noodle! <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Amazingly terrible. My Wordle dies way too much. Holy cow, does he have, like, 1 HP? Oh no! A gold bar is coming at us! Whatever will we do? They keep throwing their leader out of the cannon, and it's kind of hilarious. I guess the Wordle doesn't get knocked out of the sky until he dies. So if he hits a bunch of pieces of ammo, he'll knock all those ammo Who threw the chili pepper? Who was the asinine knave who threw the chili pepper out the window? <laughs> Alright, I'm going into their tank now. Oh, the Wordle fell out of the sky without... ...dying. Okay, there goes that fury. Oh man! That just wasn't enough! Put me in here. With my Buster Sword, I thought for sure I had it in the bag. They're throwing clap traps. Come on, Wordle. I believe in you. Wordle, no! Rocket hates computers, did you know that? You gotta stop throwing the chili pepper out the window. For real, you really have to stop. Alright, this'll do it. Also, if there are clap traps down here, I would love to show those off. Because they're pretty fun to use, even if they're not very practical. Ah, uh, nope. Well, what you gonna do? Alright. Goodbye. That was kind of an, an obnoxious tank battle. But we didn't even come close to losing, so... I am removing that freaking chili pepper. And we get a goddess statue as a reward. And we rescue Eggbird. Locked in the chest first, then taken away, or taken in, then left in the chest to decay. Ah, Rocket! I wrote a poem to pass the time. It's a real chicken and egg situation. But um, tsh. Maybe this excavating idea ain't so great after all. Probably not. Well, that was weird. La la la, da da da, la dee da 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 da. Do you like the poem I wrote for you? It was fine. 
I mean, I'm not a huge poem fan. She's a pacifist, but she loves to mingle. You grab a goddess statue. Stupid cacti balls! Why are your hitboxes so big? Anyhow, we have two slimes left, and we can now reach the end. So we're going to grab the rock bomb, and grab the imp. And then grab the other rock bomb. And no, you can't use the same rock bomb twice. It won't respawn. You have to go to both sides. And we're basically at the end now. Got a few more cacti balls to get past. Uh, So if we jump through here, this is the last room of the game. This is the one and only spot in the entire game that you can farm Devil's Tales at. There's, this is the only one that spawns. You have to open this chest, wait for it to respawn, then come back if you want Devil's Tales. Which is pretty darn annoying, if you ask me. You can sense something. There's something really powerful nearby. So you actually can't go to the boss until you go this way. And we know that music. Hmm. I was wondering when you'd show up, Flute Warrior. If you want to go any further than this, you've got to have to get past me first. Seems the Plob have found something totally awesome. You're going to have to get past me pretty quick if you want to catch them in time. I was hoping you'd say that. Bring it on, Flute Warrior. We get to fight Slivel again in the sh when he's in the Schwarzman tank, the anti-hero of Slovenia. But we're the Schliemann tank, the hero of Slovenia. He don't stand a chance. Battle stations! Fire at will! Don't be stupid with the chili pepper! Bring it on, Flute Warrior. Here, Blaba, you throw those out the upper window. So, uh, Slivels, he's not holding back this time. He's got Buster Swords and Metal King Swords out the wazoo. So, be prepared to throw everything you got at him. And, of course, you can just antagonize him in his tank while you, you let your party members do everything else. Take that. Okay, Walking Corpse, I don't understand your AI. You are not taking efficient pathways to the ammo. I'm... Uh, man, he kind of sucks. Oh, boy, the chili pepper. Actually, the chili pepper on this could be uh, really good. We just took a... Ton of damage. Nope. No. Why was only the chili pepper the one to fly out of the stupid cannon? I remembered time and time again why I don't like the chili pepper as a piece of ammo. But I wanted to show it off because your partners will make a beeline for it and just be throw it out the window. Who cares what it's actually going to do? Alright. I'm gonna infiltrate Slivel's base. Things are looking pretty dire, and I have the lightning rod, so why not? Hey, this is my tank, Flu Warrior. Yeah, well, not for long. Hmm, 
It's not even worth fighting you. Well, guess what? Your attitude's probably about to change, because I'm eating away at your HP with one Lightning Staff. Aw, oh, broke. Or HP low! And stay out! Problem is, Swivel gets resurrected very quickly! Fortunately, we can kill him very easily if we've got free fiends in our hands, so we won't keep picking him up. And he has very little HP. Holy cow, he got resurrected in a hurry! He does have really cool attacks, admittedly. Nice try, Flute Warrior, but you're so dead. The reason he respawns so quickly is when they die, they basically turn into a ghost and then have to walk back here in order to be resurrected. So if he dies right next to there, you're not going to do a whole lot. Take that. Baron Blubba! How are you so slow at loading the cannons? You can carry free fiends on your head! There's no shortage of ammo! Why are you so slow? That's one fiend. You're missing two others, Blubba. Wow, Swivel's got the invincibility frames. Holy cow. That actually took a lot longer for him to respawn than I was expecting, since he died basically on top of the resurrection machine. Silva and I must have gone through the passageway at the exact same time. Oh, once that Oaken Club hits, that'll be just enough to finish him off. You really think you can beat me, kid? Yes, I do. Now we'll all rot together. Swivel's actually coming to stop me. He's actually intelligent. You can't stop this train. Goodbye, Sliver. See, if you had to do a one-on-one -on -one battle with Silver, that would be really hard. But because you don't, he's actually really easy. And we get Oracle come. Hmm. That's the kind of fight I wanted. Don't worry, I'm getting stronger too. I can keep up with you. Guess I'll let you pass now. Go on. Help! Would someone hurry up and help me? One is quite frankly thoroughly bored in here. You there, lad. Would you help me, please? One is beside oneself with boredom. It's her royal wobbliness. The wife of his royal wobbliness. Thank you, young man. One is most grateful. Now, one must be getting back to town at once. Do be careful, young man. Oh, she sent me a letter, but I can't press pause to open it. Now I can, for some reason. Hello, little Lot Rocket. One was most impressed to see you fight Orf the Plob. It reminded one of your father, Big Daddy, in his younger years. You look just like him. Ooh, thank you, Your Highness. They'll be bullying you for your bullying now. You grab a gold bar. That's nice. Gold bars are kind of hard to get your hands on. Also, before we go, we should grab another Devil's Tail. The more of these you have, the better. <laughs> Alright, now we can actually face off against the boss, who's very interesting.
big doors lead to big bosses. And this is the biggest boss in the game, by far. Well, well, what a pleasant surprise! Welcome, slime! <laughs> I'm lickety spit of the big three! I'm going to be fighting you today! Potbelly and Harvest Loon both enjoy doing battle with you, I'm sure. But not as much as I'm going to! I'm about to become a real Ford in your side! So this is Wickedy Spit. Um, to beat him, you got these cacti balls. You want to throw them on his tongue because they are spiky. <laughs> Ouch! Can cacti balls hurt? The inside of my mouth, <laughs> full of spines. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cacti balls are actually really good at fighting in this battle. They like jumping you. Oh, if you can get all four on this ton, then it's amazing, but it's really hard to do. He really is the largest boss in the game, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> You're quite a little fighter, aren't you? I'm going to have to make you cry, lad, and scream. <laughs> I can't let you off too lightly. So now, he gets his arms that come up and try to attack us! And that's a bit annoying, especially with all the cacti balls around. So try to avoid his ton and his hands all at the same time. Oh yeah, three on one. It can be a bit difficult. Aw, oh, just one? Alright, that'll finish him off. I can't move! Oh well, never mind. They've dug up the peh fiend that was feeling the dark one away now. It's a shame to peh have to leave you like this, but there you are. Luckily, Lickety Spit leaves us a ton of money behind, which is great. It's Lord Raleigh, the counterpart to Lady Raleigh, or Lady Polly, or whoever she was. You certainly know how to keep a chap waiting. Tardiness is terribly rude. I suppose I can let you off this once. Now back to town through that teleportal. And that's Fusifer's Necropolis. Each and every nook and cranny. We saved 17 slimes! <laughs> And we get as a bonus prize a Meteorite, which is simply one of the greatest pieces of ammo in the entire game. It is incredibly powerful dealing 70 damage, and it is also by far the fastest piece of ammo. It just rockets over to the enemy's side. They're really good. And we got one of everything except goodie bags. Ah, oh, it's a shame. I wanted the goodie bags. And we get fire water. That was came from the item bag that the Dancing Flame disintegrated into. After your amazing victory over Lickety Spit, the Plob's activities change. This is the Plob's headquarters, the infamous Flying Clotress. Don't tell me you're still eating! Ain't that belly got no bottom, lady? We could dine together, John Claude Lonely. It's utterly scrumptious. It's Princess Gluttonella, the hungriest slime in the entire game. She has literally a bottomless stomach. For crying out loud, lady! I ain't no John! It's Don, get it? Don Clawleone! You ain't quit stuffing mush down your throat since you got here! I thought you princess dames were supposed to be classy! Look at how many tails he has, holy cow! If you don't quit eating, we ain't gonna have none left up here! I'm sending you back to Slamenia before you bring the whole operation down! Take it away, boys! The Flying Clotress is moving out! Dane, classy villain, he's got the organ. 
Did you manage to stop them digging up the Dark One rocket? You were unsuccessful. Hmm, I see. But at least you're unhurt. Oh, this is big! What is it, lad? What have they excavated now? It's not the ground we need to worry about now! The danger's in the sky! Look how huge that place is! It gets scaled down, though. Don't worry. <laughs> Humph, it's enormous! Bigger than glutton- uh, um, A tank! Bigger than a tank! Nice save, wobbliness. I can't wait to get stuck into that vein! We'll give the plop something to think about. Humph, I'll leave this in your capable hands, then. You young ones know what to do. This is my last seat of life, I'm afraid. Make the most of it. And we get another seat of life! Only one left in the game, and it's in the final world. Okay, everyone, let's get him! So, back in Slamenia. Now, before anything else, we're gonna listen to Lord Raleigh. I'm a very noble background, you see, so this is the first time I've written a letter. It's not as tedious as I always imagined. The common folk seem to have the right idea. Ah, oh, yes, I'm enclosing a gift that's been in my esteemed family for generations. And it's a recipe for mirror shields! But guess what? It's so expensive to make a single mirror shield, you're way better off just going to Mount Crack Trona and breaking that piggy bank to get one. Anyhow, let's see what's up with Slime Mechanic. We have three new uh, things we can get. First, the Schleeman Fort. The Schleeman is still a small bastion. I can upgrade it to a fort. 20 treasure chests and a lightning staff, so we're going to have to remove the lightning staff. Holy HP up requires one holy crystal and one goddess statue. Are you a believer? Yes, I am. Even mechanics must rely on her powers sometimes. And then this last one, the Evolution Jump, requires one Aura Calcum in order to do. This is a dangerous upgrade, the forbidden fruit of the workshop. So I am going to remove the Lightning Staff from my tank before I go do anything else. Also, hang on a second. What was I pausing for? I don't even remember. Vector back rocket? Alright, ammo. Alright, I am going to remove the Lightning Staff. Or actually, I'm just going to remove all. Because I've got a lot of new stuff to put in. And again, this might not be what I bring in my tank in the next episode, because I already have the final episodes of the LP recorded from my original data file before I realized all the corruption stuff happened. So, what I do here doesn't really matter a whole lot, but I'm putting in that. I'm putting in all but one of my more Calcums, because I need that last one in order to actually... Do the upgrade, I'll put in the Hell Scythe, not put in the Chili Pepper, no way. Devil Steel deals one, Gold Bar deals a little bit more. Put in my two Mirror Shields, those, the Buster Sword, Steel Broadsword, I'll put in the Slime Knight and the two Iron Shields. Definitely the boost, BS2 Blue Streak, the upgraded version of the BS1. Uh, cruise, it deals 50 damage and it's fast, it's very good. Put in my Cruises. I like Holy Water. Oh, uh, my Oaken Clubs have gone down. I got a pretty good tank now. Pretty good ammo supply. Anyway, that's that out of the way. So let's do the Schwiemann Fort. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to check if I had the treasure chests to do it, but I do. I have a lot of treasure chests. The tank's AP increases by 80... Takes HP increases by 80. Alright, now we'll do the other upgrades. Holy HP up. I like how these are cheap. Some of them are really expensive, but a lot of them are really cheap. The takes HP increases by 80. Which means we're gonna have a thousand HP after this final upgrade. So we're gonna have a lot of stuff. You now have a thousand HP! You can get it even higher after you beat the game, which is amazing. Anyhow, let's talk to the new people in town, shall we? So I think a lot of them are going to be in the library at this point. 
Yep, here's Wildfane. What do you want? Wildfane no like make friends. But Wildfane happy you rescued him. Cool. Glad you're happy. Pambi saw toy slime in shop. Pambi want. Pambi swapped 10 toy slimes for something really, really good. Okay. No. But Pambi really wants toy slimes. Yeah, but they're expensive and I don't have the cash for that. And you're spoiled. So, knock it off. Anybody at home? Hey, it's Lord Raleigh. Reading such much-loved pastime is uh, reading is a much-loved pastime of the aristocracy. You should give it a try. I could tell you how to use frizz. No, I couldn't. It's a secret. Is it a secret to everyone? All right, no one up. Actually, wait. If we climb up here, we get something good. We can destroy the books, and an envelope's gonna fall down. We find a recipe for golden arrows. That's always nice. Let's check out the recipe, shall we? Gold arrow requires a gold bar and two wooden arrows. You don't even need iron arrows to create golden arrows, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah! New stuff in here. Hello, brother of Bo. Is she keeping well? I hope we can all play together again soon. Oh, someone's made a real dog's dinner of this chimney! It's a chock-a-block with soot! I wish there was someone who'd clear it out for me! So this is actually a side quest you can do if you want. You can actually go and jump down the chimney, and there's a bunch of soot in the way. And if you can clear it all out, you'll actually get a special reward, which is great. Woo! But you'll have to go down the chimney many times in order to do it. <laughs> you can't get me. I didn't hit you that hard. Yeah, but you can see there's less and less soot every time we go in, which is... very cool. Oh, like one or two more specs that we have to get rid of. Ah, oh, I moved out of the way. Dug on it. There we go! Oh, thank you! The chimney's completely clear now! What is the deal with chimneys? Here's a little present from me for all your hard work. Take it. We get a recipe for holy crystals. I'm as proud as a pup with a new collar! There aren't as many houses in town that have had their chimneys swept by a hero. So if we go to alchemy, holy water is there. Holy Crystal, you need 2,000 weights and 4 Holy Waters. So actually, as long as you're okay with grinding on 1,000 weights, they're not that hard to get. Patch and the Ever Guy look a lot similar. You good fighter, me think good painter too. You buy new canvas, only 500 fang gummies, I'm sure. We get a new canvas. You paint good fang gummy, Bob wants C. Oh, I haven't talked to Spot yet? I heard about the Schumann tank before! Gah, I can't remember what it was, though. Okay. Oh, wait, I haven't talked to you either? Really? What do you think goes on here? Whatever it is, I reckon it must be pretty scary. Eek! It's not scary, it's awesome. We'll, do, we'll tackle it in a bonus episode. Thanks for saving me. I was, like, walking on eggshells back there. I thought I was surely beaten. I was so worried my whites were stiffening. But yokes aside, I'd like to present you with this as a sign of my gratitude. It's a new tank called Giggles. Giggles is now available. Sounds really weird, but for Tank Master Mode, we can choose which tank we want, and Giggles is a new tank. You can use Giggles both in the Tank Masters Arena as well as in Multiplayer Mode. I tell ya, this tank is no laughing matter. Your opponent will flip his noggin. It's great. So many puns. So yeah, just talking to Megan gives you a new tank that you can use in the Tank Master Mode. We'll see that later on. I think everyone in the museum I've talked to before, yep. 
Oh, that's right. I know where all the new people are hanging out. In the store. How could I have forgotten? You're my friend to the end. Do you like my poem? Excellent! I looked at the Schliemann and I thought, Oh my, that thing must be driven by a hell of a guy! You buy my canvas for 500 gold coins. It is a wonderful picture for you. Sure, because I have the money. I'm just going to say, all the stuff that I'm doing right now, I don't think I've done in the actual... <laughs> in the actual corrupted version of the game that I'll be continuing after this episode, so if I have to redo a lot of stuff, that's why. Claudia very strong, Unga. No other girls know like odd Claudia, and Claudia know like weak boys. But you different, Rocket. Okay. You'll have to tell me about your adventures. One day I'll rinse my ears out, especially. Yay, you came to see me, Rocket. There isn't much to do here, but stick around. Did you read my letter, Master? I lost my temper a bit when I wrote it. Oh, well, Rocket, are you eating enough? You need to keep up your strength. Sure. <coughs> I am starting to lose my voice a bit, which is not good. So I gotta end the episode off there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. I apologize for my video corrupting, but there is not a whole lot I could have done about that. So, if you tune in next time, we will officially be ending this... We will officially be ending this uh, version of, of the game, and I'll be returning to my other version. So, if I have different stuff in my tank, or I haven't talked to a lot of people, or I just have different monster counts, I definitely have different monster counts. That is why. So... I, I, I'd like to think that people will appreciate that I played through the game all the way, just to show off the whole episode without it being corrupted. If it corrupted again, so homie, I'm going to be really mad. But anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless you, my slime.